Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to our channel. I'm very excited about today's session because today we are starting a new tutorial series of Oracle Data Integrator 12C. So today we will go through the introductory part of Oracle Data Integrator, like what exactly it is, how it works, uh, where exactly it falls in all integration technologies. So we will talk about it we'll also talk about its installation and how it works so let's start so i have divided today's session into three parts and it will be mostly theoretical only so we will try to keep it as short as possible so first we will talk about odi introduction so what exactly odi is odi is an elt tool and majorly in market we have etl tool so e stands for extraction T for transfer and L for load. So ETL tools extracts data from any source system and then they they have a transformation engine as a middle layer and then they transform the message as per the target's requirement. After the transformation, they load the data to the target. So that's why a, they are called ETL tools. Few examples of those tools would be that I have worked and seen in few projects are uh, Informatica and Apache Nifi, which is also termed as HDF, Cotton Data Flows. However, ODI is different from them and I would say better from them because it's ELT, not ETL. So ELT is again, it extracts the data from the source system and it simply loads the data into temporary storage area or a temporary storage table. And then the transformation happens at the target system only and then after the transformation it loads the data into the target tables or the target system so the middle layer of transformation engine has been eliminated in odi and because of which it is obviously cost effective because one layer has been eliminated and secondly it is way faster than those other etl tools so i have an example here so i will show you which is uh, provided by oracle only so on their website they have given this example in favor of odi over other etl tools so as you can see on your screen at the moment that there was one conventional etl tool which used to take 5 hours 11 minutes to load data and to to integrate source to target however when odi was introduced it was 42 times faster than the conventional etl tool and it did that entire integration in 7 minutes and 20 seconds so that's incredible so this is not what i'm saying this is what oracle says about odi and my experience with ODI is that it's actually really good. So I have worked previously on Apache Nifi as well in one of the projects to get data from Hadoop and then transform it and to load it to somewhere else and then so a process started. So I have, have experience on that uh, Apache Nifi as well. However, experience with ODI is absolutely way better than the experience with Apache Nifi because it's definitely... Uh, First of all, it's from Oracle family. So if you are a SOA developer, then it's very easy for you to relate to how it works. And if you are a PLSQL developer, then it's uh, very easy for you to learn ODI. So that is one thing and ODI is definitely way faster than any other ETL tool in market. So this should be uh, the conclusion of uh, ODI introduction then we'll move to the installation part of odi so i'm not going to demonstrate the installation of odi from scratch because it is fairly similar to what we have done with soa so we if you have not seen our soa installation video i recommend you guys to check that out because odi installation is also similar to the installation of soa when we configure a compact domain but just for a theoretical part, let's go through the steps. So first you will install Oracle database, then you will install ODI. So again, uh, similar to SOA, there will be two jars down, we we'll need to download it from Oracle website. And then we will extract those jars and 
the ODI will be installed. However, in ODI, the ID is ODI Studio. However, in SOA, we have J Developer. So I'll I'll show you how Oracle Data ODI Studio looks like. Then the third step will be to run RCU to create repositories or schemas of ODI into the installed database. So RCU stands for Repository Creation Utility. So absolutely similar way like we do when we want to create a compact domain for SOA. So if you guys face any issue in the installation of ODI, you please drop a comment or you email us and we will definitely help you guys out. At the same time, if needed, we'll create a video of installation of ODI as well from the scratch. So that's not a problem. Now let me show you how ODI Studio looks like. So here we go. So this is uh, Oracle Data Integrator Studio 12C. If we see what is the version of it, we can see it is 12.2.1 and precise version would be 12.2.1.3 and which is running on 1.8 JDK 191 update. So uh, your ODI studio will look like this when you will first see it. You'll need to click on this connection repository as I have already created connected once so it is auto filled username or password however you will get to this particular screen so let me walk you guys through what this screen is so this login name could be anything so as per your requirement as per your naming conventions you can give any name to your login name this supervisor user and password you will be setting when you will run rcu on your database to create schemas there you will have to give a password to your supervisor user so this is that password this dev odi repo is a schema that i created on database for master repository so you will need to use that schema over here its password and this is a connection string of your database and here work repo is again the name of a work repository that you gave while running the rcu so in short, most of the information that you see on this particular screen is you will be getting or you will be setting that when you will run RCU on your database. So we'll click on OK. Let's click on OK here. And once it is connected, you will be able to see this all tabs, different tabs are filled with data. So all these tabs have their different significance when it comes to development. And in our next video, I will walk you guys through with the significance and what everything means on these steps so your next video is going to be very important if you want to learn how to develop your integrations in odi so from the introduction part i think this is good enough information for to begin with so if you guys have any questions or any suggestions please feel free to comment or drop us an email and thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate that. Take good care of yourselves. Have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye.